I've just come over guys so I don't have to yell. So we're going to take you through the, the catch part of your stroke today properly um, and do a few basic drills to reinforce the changes that we're going to make. So we've already spoken about it a few times, haven't we? For the people that haven't heard this before, um, I guess what we're concerned about is the inward rotation, okay, so the rotation of the arm, um, as opposed to what most of you guys have um, as non-swimmers, and, and that's the dropping of the elbow, so an external rotation. So when you enter the water, um, this becomes your lever, as you know, so there's no movement through the wrist, yeah? So this needs to be quite rigid, all right, the entire way through. Is everyone aware of that? And when they swim, can you all see that when you swim with your own action now? Yeah, are there any that don't get that or? It's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Yeah. So, if this becomes our, our, our fulcrum, our lever, okay, um, our hand needs to come down because what we're trying to do is push the water underneath us, yeah? So, when a lot of you do this, um, your elbow leaves, so you bend from there and your hand comes towards your face, doesn't it? Okay. Um, when you're doing this, clearly you can see the water slipping from your hand. All right, so when you learn this, you need to conceptualize through your sensory channels, whether it's your visual, your kinesthetic, your auditory, okay, the way you move, all right? So drills are a really good way of doing it, but doing it at home in front of a mirror um, and laying in bed is also quite powerful, okay, because you learn a lot of this stuff when you're not at the pool, all right? But when you're... When you're in the water, it needs to essentially look like that. So from here, it's straight down towards you. So it's a bicep contraction and an internal rotation. Then from there, the hand seems to slip down behind you. Okay, so it's not that complex. When we're doing doggy paddle, which is what we're gonna do now, and I've said to you before, I wanna see a nice short action, and a lot of you do this to here, and then come all the way back up. Okay, so you're already kind of polluting the message. So I want to see a small, slow action, okay? Just like that. So the hand goes down, internal rotation, to there only. That's your catch, okay? That's where your catch ends, then you start a thing which we call the first pull. All right, is everyone clear on that? So when you're doing doggy paddle, head out the water this time. So I'll do one lap with head out the water. I want to see hands go down, back up, down, back up, and it's just one after the other. Okay, and all we're doing is stabilizing ourselves in the water, obviously catching the water and moving forward from that part of your stroke. Is that 